love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video we'll be looking at the difference between CL30 and CL36 of DDR5-6000. So let's check the price difference between CL30 and 36. Here are some shops in Spain that have that. So here I found one, 165 euros for CL36 and one, 230 for CL30. So a little bit more than 60 euros difference. Here are default timings that the memory came with. It's CL36. As you can see here, it's uh, from Corsair. It has Samsung B dies. So let's see how we can actually change that. In the motherboard's BIOS settings, we only have the RAM timing control. Here, we just have to change where we have the TCL value from 36 to 30. For this test, I just kept the others as uh, they were, haven't changed anything. Some uh, modules may work with 1.35, others will not. So I'm going to show you how to uh, change that uh, uh, core voltages. We go there and it just change from 1.35 to 1.4 for both and that's it. My memories actually work with 1.35, but this is how you change it if you have uh, unstable uh, clocks. Or, uh, timings with 1.35 so this is my memory timings as you can see here it's C30 and uh, this is all the other timings that uh, I have I must confess that uh, I didn't show the C36 as well because it's exactly the same but only the cast latency there is changed from 30 to 36 So here are the settings that I use for Guardians of the Galaxy. I went with everything maxed out at 1440p and 1080p. Now let's look at the results. As it can be seen in the graph here, there is no major difference between CL36 and CL30. When we have a difference of one, two or three frames at such frame rates, then we can actually say that there is no major difference between both uh, CL36 and CL30 and this applies as well to 1080 as you can see here there is no major difference between the two of them now let's look at cyberpunk this is the settings that I'm using again I will be testing at 1080 and 1440p I'm running everything max stacked with ray tracing and psycho so as you can see here in the result there is no difference between CL36 and CL30 as we saw as well in Guardians of the Galaxy. When we move to 1080, there is no improvement when we move to a lower latency memory. So um, in this game, there is no benefit in going with a more expensive uh, memory. Now let's look at another game. This is Dying Light 2. These are the settings that I'm using. Again, I'm testing at 1080 and 1440p. I'm testing my, with max settings to see if there are any benefits when we have everything maxed out. Now let's check the results. When it comes to the averages, we don't have any improvements, but we have a minor improvement when it comes to the 1% lows. When we move to 1080p and we look at the averages and one the 1% 1 lows, we can see there is no improvement moving from C36 to C30. These are the settings that I used for Callista protocol. I have everything maxed out and I'm running the benchmark on 1080p and 1440. Here are the results for it. As you can see, there is no difference whatsoever between the two uh, latencies. And when we move to 1080p, we will see there is no difference between C36 and C30 when it comes to averages and 1% loads. I added another game to see how it performs to see there if there is a difference between CL36 and CL30. And let's look at the results. So as we can see here, there is some difference between CL36 and CL30. The CL30 performs a bit better when it comes to the averages and 1% lows, both at 1080p and also at 1440p. But let's be honest both C36 and C30 perform quite well with 
frames above 300. Now let's look at another game, uh, now 1800 at 1080p and 1440p. And this is the settings and these are the results. At 1440p there is no improvement from C36 to C30, but when we move to um, 1080p we will see that actually there is minor improvement when it comes to the averages and 1% lows more or less in line with what we saw with Civilization. So maybe with some older games, lower latency is better. I added to the benchmarks another older game. This is Red Dead Redemption, it's a game from 2018. I'm running everything maxed out at 1080p and 1440p, and let's see how it performs. When it comes to Red Dead Redemption, the average is for 1440p, when it's more or less in line, the same can be said about 1080p. We have uh, more or less the same averages, but we have uh, improved it when we look at the 1% lows. So the C36 performs worse than C30. Now let's move to a game list at the end of 2020. Here are the settings that were used for testing Watch Dogs Legions. The tests were run again at 1440p and 1080p. Now let's look at the results to see if there is any difference between C36 and C30. As you can be seen, the averages and the 1% lows are more or less the same. So there is no difference at 1440p. And when we move to 1080p, we can see that again, there is no major difference. A little bit better performance when it comes to frame rates for that C30, but the difference is minimal and it's not worth the price increase. Now let's look at the last game that I tested, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is not maxed out, I'm using some settings that uh, uh, I found on the internet that can be good for playing on a uh, competitive uh, setting, in the sense that not everything is maxed out, most of them are uh, low settings, and let's see how it performs. When we look at the 1440p averages, more or less in line, what we saw previously in other games, meaning that there is no difference between C36 and C30. The same thing can be said when we look at the result for, for, uh, for 1080p. So there is no benefit whatsoever for moving from C36 to C30. AMD states that the ideal choice to pair with every AMD Ryzen 7000 series is the DDR5-6000. The reason for this comes down to cost, stability, performance, availability and ease of use, with a further recommendation that users leave the Infinity Fabric Overclock set to Auto. And precisely that is why I went with C36 and tried to lower the latency as much as possible and opted to save some money. And that will be my recommendation for everybody, just go with some something cheaper and save money and use it for something else and just go into BIOS and change the CL settings because most likely you'll be able to reach those lower latencies without any issue. Thanks for watching guys and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button.